Hi, my name's Ray. Welcome to the Radio Workshop. Over the years, I've been asked by many, many people about courses. Can I recommend books? Are there any videos? Is there any way you can learn how to repair and restore vintage valve radios? Uh, unfortunately, the answer to all that is no. As far as I'm aware, there's, well, there used to be courses back in the 1960s. Um, local technical college ran city and guilds courses or radio and TV servicing. But these days there's nothing. So what I've done, I've created a members area within the Radio Workshop website. Uh, it's a password protected area where I've produced videos, um, for example, all about isolating transformers, why you need one in the workshop, what it's for, what it does, um, speaker grill cloth, I'm working on that video shortly, once you've got the baffle board out of the radio, how do you stretch the speaker cloth over it and glue it? It's got to be as tight as a drum and there is a bit of a knack, it's a little bit of a skill to that, otherwise the cloth will be loose and flap about and it looks terrible. Uh, valves, that's another video I'm working on. Um, only basic stuff, as I say, for beginners. How does a valve work? Um, so what I do is basically take you through the, the anode of, say, a, tri a triode, an audio preamp, anode voltage, uh, grid voltage, what you should find on there, the cathode, that sort of thing. Um, components, different components, resistors, capacitors. Uh, in the members area you, you will find a resistor uh, calculator to help you work out the colour codes. Um, capacitors, there are, there's an equivalent uh, page for like microfarads, picofarads to the, the modern equivalent nanofarads. And for example, you uh, reading circuit diagrams. I, I explain how to read a circuit diagram so you can understand the diagram, what's what and what to check for. Um, now on there you might see a, a capacitor, a decoupling capacitor, is 0.05 microfarad. Well they're not made anymore, even the modern ones, so what do you replace it with? Um, it's in fact, the, the modern equivalent is 0.047. That's the nearest to 0.05. I also aim to produce a, a video every week. I'm um, not going to commit myself to that, but uh, concerning what might have come into the workshop that's of interest, uh, latest news or anything, any hints and tips I want to pass on, that sort of thing. The first one of the weekly videos uh, concerns this. It's a Philco radio that came in for repair. Um, no circuit diagram, I haven't got one, can't find one on the internet, don't know what the valve types are, numbers have been rubbed off by someone. Um, so where do you go? Very distorted, uh, very distorted volume. How do you find the fault? No circuit, don't know what the valves are, where do you start? So I've just uh, had a little chat about that. Um, as I say, I hope to pass on any hints and tips so that the weekly video, try to make that an interesting thing to come back for each week. We shall see. I also show you a, a chassis of a Bush radio and take you through the various parts of the chassis, the variable tuning capacitor, the electrolytic HT smoothing capacitors, where these things are, what they look like, and basically finding your way around the chassis. So there's quite a lot to cover. Um, I hope to build a library, uh, a, quite a, a good library of, of videos, all dealing with the many, many aspects of vintage valve radios, repairing them, restoring them, fault finding, all this sort of thing. Now there's a lot to cover, so um, as I say, I will be adding videos all the time. What I hope to do is, in say three or four years time, still be adding videos to the members area. Um, I, I think it's quite possible just to go on and on and on because there are so many aspects to these valve radios. So that's it. Hopefully uh, you'll join the members area and uh, I'll see you there.